All right, welcome back to computer class, and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the program called GarageBand and how to make songs uh, in GarageBand from the loops that they provide. So let's go ahead and open up a GarageBand. We can either find it in the Launchpad, or I like to search for it in the Spotlight. So I'll hit the GarageBand. Mine is already open, so I'm going to go over here. And the first window shows you the, the programs that you have. Uh, not the programs, but the files you have. So I'm going to go to a new project, and it gives us all these different types of projects that we can do. Well, today what we're going to do is go to the one that called Loops, because that makes it easy. Uh, this is particular loop song is going to be for our commercial, so I'm going to put commercial song on it. And then we can save it. I'll save it on my desktop and hit Create. And it will pop it up for me in here a second. So this is the user interface for GarageBand. Uh, looks kind of difficult. There's a lot of things on it. But really, for the loop side of this, it's very simple. All I'm going to do is start by getting some of the loops. And they're located up here. And so I'm going to say, uh, let's go to Beats. And then I'm going to go to my club dance beat. You can pick any one of these, of course. But I picked that one. So I'll take that one and put it into my song over here. So GarageBand has a number of tracks. Each track has a different sound on it. So I have this club dance beat now here on my first track. Notice that it is only five measures. Each measure is about a, a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this by going Command C, and then I'm going to put my uh, cursor right there, and I'm going to Command V, 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 and you notice it keeps on going until I have it about, oh, 30 seconds or so. I'm going to bring this back, and now I, if I play that right in the middle here, you will hear my beats. So. Now, how did I start and stop that very simpler? I just hit my space bar on my keyboard, and it will start that very easily. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to hit reset, and then I'm going to go and get something else, like a guitar. And I'll go down here to edgy rock. Yeah, that's pretty edgy. Oh, I like that one. There we go. Edgy guy, rock guitar 12. So I'm going to put that up into my music. Okay, again, it is five measures, so I'll take that and copy it, and then I'll paste it. Oh, whoop, I forgot to put my cursor up here, so now I'll paste it. And I'll slide it over a little bit, and then maybe I'll go over here and paste it a little bit more and slide it over there. Let's just hear what I have. Okay, you can add some more. But basically, that's how it is. You hit the reset button, and now you go ahead and uh, pick something else. Uh, acoustic guitars, okay, uh, pianos, country, jazz, anything that you want to make your song. So that's how you make your song in GarageBand. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <coughs> Woo! With a big sneeze, we'll send you.